Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Jaeger the Viking here, bringing you some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Today, I'm going to be talking about what I think about support streaks. And I used them when the game first came out, and uh, I did enjoy using them. I kind of liked the kill streaks they gave you. But as I've played the game more and more, I'm really starting to take a disliking to them. And the reason for that is they just aren't fair. Now, uh, some of them aren't fair, that is. You know, I do not really mind if, uh, you know, the enemies are getting SAM turrets and stuff like that out of their support. But, personally, I don't think that someone should be able to get something like an advanced UAV or a stealth bomber without actually having to go on a kill streak. The advanced UAV is incredibly effective. I ran the Blackbird as one of my kill streaks in uh, Black Ops, and that's just because it is a good kill streak. And the advanced UAV isn't quite the Blackbird. But I personally think that what they need to do is... I like the concept of it. Don't get me wrong. I do like the support concept. But I think they just completely need to nerf the support kill streaks. They should not be that powerful. And they should take longer to get. You know, maybe make it... Um, instead of 4 kills for a UAV. Make it 7 or 8 kills. And I don't know. And make sure... Like what kind of annoys me is I like to run assault, but at the same time, I uh, I would like to be able to get an advanced UAV. So what could make sense is possibly, you know, making it so that uh, the advanced UAV is um, in assault or in both. Or just make, I think everything in support should also be available in assault um, with, you know, less kills. Maybe since it's 12 in support, they make it 7 or 8 in Assault. I I think that would be good. I also think that they should um, just make it so that killstreaks aren't quite as good. Maybe the UAV, the regular UAV, should go a bit slower in support. Maybe it shouldn't last as long. You know, maybe the Advanced UAV, they give you an Advanced UAV in support and they give you a Blackbird in Assault. I think that would work out really well because if you guys remember Black Ops, and for those of you who don't, I'll just explain it. Now, uh, the Blackbird was, um, you know, pretty similar to the Advanced UAV, except it didn't scan. It showed you exactly where they were 100% of the time it was up. And I mean, that was really good. That was a very effective kill streak. And what I really don't like about support in this game is you pretty much always have to be running uh, Assassin. You know, Quick Draw is one of the best perks in the game. Hardline's a great perk. You know, the uh, number two perk slot is where all the good perks are, pretty much. And they're pretty much forcing you to run Assassin, because if you're not, there are people, you know, noobs can go and get four kills in a game. You don't need to be a good player to get a game with four kills. And that's a UAV right there if you're running support and you have the UAV on. So I just really don't like that, and I wish that, uh, you know, if they bring support back in Black Ops, which personally, I mean, I don't care too much if they bring it back, but I would hope that they, uh, you know, at least focus on that, on make on cutting down what you can do with support. You know, for example, if I go on a 17 kill streak and get an Osprey Gunner, I don't want to get that EMP'd. I don't want someone who got 18 kills not even on a kill streak. Not even 18 kills, just 18, you know, points. You know, especially now when they have it with point streaks, not kill streaks, that makes it even easier to, uh, to get to that, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying, to get to that EMP, to get to that, uh, escort airdrop which could ultimately result in an emp i really think the escort airdrop just needs to be out of there completely that that's pretty uh pretty overpowered it can be dropping emps juggernauts all sorts of stuff i think also sentry guns even and that's just a bit annoying i uh i'm not really too much a fan of that and stealth bombers of course stealth bomber you know i i understand that support was going for a support uh thing where you help out your team, uh, and the, uh, killstreaks benefit your entire team. So why is the stealth bomber even in there? I think that one's a bit ridiculous, and to be honest, you know, there isn't too much you can do about a stealth bomber. For example, if someone were to call in a stealth bomber when you're running through the middle of the map, there is no way to do anything about that. Yeah, you can try to get into cover, but if there's no cover around you and it's on top of you, then you're going to die, and I just think it's a bit ridiculous that someone should uh, be able to get something like that, something that is, you know, fatal, um, off just getting uh, straight points, not even getting, uh, you know, a kill streak. They just have to get the kills, and that's it. 
I don't know, that's just kind of my take on it. I really think that, um, you know, if they want to have the stealth bomber in there, it should be maybe 20 total kills. I really just think that if people are running support, they should have to get a few more kills, like, than they already do. Because, you know, Sam Turd at 8, I know a lot of people who aren't good at the game who run support, and they can get to their Sam Turret with ease, and that Sam Turret can go ahead and take out my Attack Heli, my Pavlo, my Osprey Gunner, you know, whatever air support I was working hard to get can be taken down quickly by a Sam Turret or by an EMP. I just think that's a bit annoying. I really do think they need to make it harder to shoot things down, actually, in general, and I'm going to talk about that in a later video. But uh, that's just one thing that frustrates me, that support can, you know, really impact my assault streak, my kill streak that I actually, actually had to work hard on. I mean, the EMP to Osprey Gunner comparison, I think, is perfect. You know, an EMP, all you have to do is get 18 kills in total. For an Osprey Gunner, I have to go on a 17 kill streak. And then you're going to tell me that uh, my that EMP can take my Osprey Gunner out right away. And that's just really frustrating. That's one of the most frustrating things to have worked hard on something to have it EMP'd out of the sky. You know, there's really nothing you can do about an EMP. Even if a guy's rushing your team over and over again, it's not like you can kill him to get him off his streak. He can just keep running in there, maybe even have Dead Man's Hand. And I think Dead Man's Hand actually does add to your streak if you're running support. Maybe he just has Dead Man's Hand and Dead Man's Hand blows up and takes out a couple guys. Then he runs in, dies a few more times. I mean, yes, that's not a uh, high possibility. That's pretty rare. But the fact that that can even happen, that someone could, uh, you know, not even get kills by themselves, but have the help of their death streaks, and still ultimately, you know, uh, if they had the time in the game and rushed hard enough, would eventually get to something like an EMP. I don't know. I just think that's a bit ridiculous. But anyway, this gameplay is over. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you want to subscribe if you're new. And if you did enjoy the video and don't mind leaving a like, it does help me out a lot. Alright, that's it for this one. See ya.